Welcome everyone, today we have a special character comparison video for Honkai Star Rail. As you can see behind me, I have crafted an Excel for Silla, Jinyuan, and also Lucia. So those will be the three limited banner characters we'll be comparing. And currently we do have Silla's banner, so the next two that's coming right. You can see I have a lot of notes over here, and I'll be comparing a lot for those three characters, including the date the banner is available, and also what are the characters good for, what are the things you should consider, what are the you know duplicates of the characters, how good is the character in the future, and also what about the power creeping concerns, what about the replacement concerns, and also what are the best stats for each of those characters. Now over here, as you guys can see, I have over 160 limited summons with my 30 tickets and also over 20,000 jade. And I really want to plan which of the characters I want to build in the future banners. So this is why today I have decided to build a comparison video to show you guys exactly what I want to prepare for the next three characters. And which of the characters I'll be going for with all of my free to play currencies in the past many days I've been saving. We'll be using a lot of information on the data of the characters, the character skills, and also the damage of those characters to make the best comparison and also the best judgment for which of the 5 stars will be the best for free to play accounts. Now before we dive into the video, keep in mind guys, we do not have all the official information on Jinyuan and also Lucha. So this is because you can see some of the question marks, because we do not have those information for now. But the other parts, we can kind of plan for the relics, we can plan for the other parts of those characters. So we'll be using all the official information that is available in the game and also in the trial runs of the characters. Now right away, let's have a look at the stats of the characters. We can see that Silai out of the three characters have the highest speed of 115. So this is by far much higher than Jinyuan, who is only at 99 speed. Lucha is pretty standard, about 101. I won't say he's the fastest, but he's not the slowest. Now one thing to notice about Jin Yuan, the next new 5 star, is that he has some really strong base stats, include very high HP, very high attack, and also very high defense. And this kind of match his build or the role of the character as a general. He is very durable, very defensive, but very slow because of the heavy armor he has. And finally, Lucha does have a relatively high HP, but slightly lower than Jin Yuan actually. And Lucha also have a very low energy cost, which allows him to cast his ultimate multiple times. Now in terms of the practical use of the characters, we know C Light is the best DPS single target in the game, and currently it is 10 out of 10. As for Jin Yuan, it is hard to tell because we only know people have tested him in beta, and if we have a look at the rankings over here, you can see C Light is the top for single target. Now as for Jin Yuan, he is actually a little shorter compared to Claire. Now of course, we don't know the exact stats, and if he's been buffed or nerfed, we're not sure until the official launch. And as of Lucia, it is likely he's going to be a supporting healer and he can dispel enemies. As we get to try him in the story, we can see that he is going to be the imaginary healer that will become available, and likely he could do some damage as well. So it's quite interesting, we're not sure exactly how those characters will work, so I'm ranking them as 9 for now. Now in terms of the overall skills, skills and also the talents, we know that Silai also have those very powerful. She has a stealth, a buff to move faster, and also a speed increase and also extra times when she kills enemies. So overall, I do think the practical use, Silai is definitely the number one. Now because the other two characters have not been released, we can only look at the Eidolons or the duplicates of Silai. So what happens when you have multiple cards of Silai? Now for free to play characters and also for free to play players, it is a little difficult to get more duplicates, and I usually don't recommend going for those. But her duplicates are quite strong for Eidolon 1, 2 and also 6, which provide her with a boost of critical and also speed, and also very powerful. Uh, if you look at the, the writing for the Eidolon 6, it's actually really long, that increases her quantum damage and also makes her even stronger. Now because it is hard to compare for free to play players, usually we don't look in the duplicates too much. So don't worry too much about this one. But what I want to have a look is the options of diff going for different relics for each of the characters. So we know that Silai, that she is going to be the best single target damage dealer, and we can see there will be a lot of availability for different sets of relics. So you can see over here, she can go with quantum damage, she can also go with quantum damage and also attack speed. And over here, Silai can also provide herself with more attack because of the higher speed she has. So you can kind of rotate between those relic sets for three different combinations. Now similarly, Jinyuan can also enjoy a variety of relics. He can go with the lightning damage relics, and also he can go for additional speed and also attack. Now because he's going to be an AoE DPS, he's going to function a little different to, to Silai of course. 
And finally, the relic set for our healer Lucia is gonna be probably between two of those. You can either go for healing with more HP percent, or you can go with some imaginary damage. But of course, we have to see more skills to know how exactly it works. Now coming over to one of the most important things you should, you should consider as a free-to-play player when going for a five-star character. And this is about the power equipping and also the likelihood of this character getting replaced by a new character in the future. Now the likelihood of each of the new characters getting replaced at this stage of the game is very low, because it's the launch of the game. Now in the future, it is possible for DPS characters to be replaced more often compared to the supporting characters, because it's much harder to have supporting characters that does the same thing compared to the DPS characters, because they will focus on the own element and they will be single target or AoE multi-target. So in that sense, all the characters are pretty hard to replace right now, and we will see a rerun of Sea Life's banner probably in three months if you do miss her. Now in terms of replaceability as for Jin Yuan, if you look at the DPS meter, you can see that currently Clear is actually a better replacement for damage if you're doing the physical damage, and Jin Yuan is here for lightning damage. I'm not sure how they're going to adjust for this, because Clear right now is very powerful, and to the point that Clear kind of overpowers Jin Yuan, and that's not what the developers wanted likely, so they might give him a little buff, we're not sure about this. Now if you guys haven't subscribed, it is a really good time to do so, because I'll be covering tons of free jade guides, new events, official updates, and also free to play tips and also tricks to Hong Kong Star Rail. And make sure you turn on the notification guys, because some of the events and also some of the you know, updates may be time limited and with a limited number of giveaways. Like in this particular guide, only 2000 players can get the lucky giveaway for 3000 jades. So make sure you subscribe and also turn the notification on. And if you look over here, a lot of you haven't turned it on. We have over 80% people who haven't turned it on. So make sure you turn it on for the latest news and also all the freebies with Hankai Star Rail. Now the next comparison about the characters will be about the personal appeal. This is the visual design and also animation of the characters. We kind of got to try Sea Light of course, and lots of Lucia will show in the game. You can also see Jin Yuan. So it is really up to the players about this one. For me, they all look pretty nice. I was a little bizarre by the floating casket with Lucia. And let me know what you guys think about his design. So the next part is, what is the best value for a James or for a Jade? So in that sense, if you're going for a single target DPS and also a speedy DPS, Sea Light is really good. But if you're going for a tanky DPS that can hit very hard and also that can make use of speeding support like Bronya, Jin Yang can be a very good character for this case. And if you're looking for a character that fits on any team, Lucia will be really good. So those characters all play different roles. And even though they are you know, DPS characters, one will be very speedy, one will be very slow but very hard hitting. Now over here, we'll have a look at the timing of the banners and how long do you have before you go for the next banner. Because it's quite important, the next part I'll ask you guys, how long can you save for more free-to-play jade after summoning for those characters? Now during the recording of this video, we have about 13 days left on the Sea Light banner. Actually 12 hours and 12, 12 days. And similarly, it's gonna be about 12 days or 13 days coming for Jin Yuan. So you can kind of see how long you have left on the banner, how long before the banner comes, or how long you have to wait for the banner. This will help you determine how much of the free jade you can save up and how many pools can you summon them. Sometimes this is a good thing because the longer you wait for those characters, the better you can summon for them because the more jade you have. Sometimes you don't want to wait for too long because they will be essential for your team. So this is really up to the players to decide. Now finally, let's briefly have a look at the character's strength and also weakness. For me, Scylla is going to be a very very good character for DPS because she's very fast and she's great with single target. Now in terms of hard hitting situational target, I will go with Jin Yuan. Because his damage and also his survivability, that makes him a very durable DPS, which is different to Sea Light. She is very squishy, but she is very hard hitting. And finally, the limited healer that provides bonus dispel. We haven't seen a very strong monster with a, you know, a buff to themselves yet, or maybe a shield. But in the future, likely we'll see those. And this is when Lucha will be shiny with a bonus to spell with the bonus ability to dispel. Now, of course, each of the characters will have the weakness. For Scylla over here, the weakness for the character is that she is great for quantum damage, but this also limits her to the quantum enemies. If enemies does not have quantum, it is a little awkward for her on the team because she does not do that much AoE. Now, the weakness for Jin Wei over here is that, as we saw over there, he is not the highest DPS characters for the multi-targeting, simply because Clear can counter a lot. So this is the downside for him. So if you do have clear, maybe you don't have to go with Jin Yuan, because she is still very good. And finally, 
As for the healer, it is hard to tell how strong the healer or how weak the healer can be. But if the healer is not great, then we have to wait for a long time before the next healer. So for Lucia, I do have a good hope. But his weakness is that he's not going to be a DPS character. And if you do get him as your first limited character, it can be a lot of the free-to-play jade that is invested to not getting a big power spike compared to the DPS characters that can clear a lot of content. Now before you finish your video, as a free-to-play player, some things you have to consider, or any player you should consider, is that do you have a 5-star weapon for those characters? Well, one of the ways to get 5-star weapons I haven't bought mine yet is that you can be buying weapons from the header store. So here you can see Destruction, you can see The Hunt, and also you can see Preservation. But what you can see is, Scylla is going to be a Hunt character, that she can buy one of those weapons. That makes her really good, and if uh, I'm going for free to play and I don't have any weapons that works on you know, my 5 stars, so notice over here we don't have any weapons that is 5 star. So in that case, I'm more inclined to get Scylla because I have a weapon for her. For the other two characters, if you happen to have the right weapon for the category, this will be really good. So for Jinyuan, he's seeing addition, and also for Lucia, he's seeing abundance. Now finally, of course you should consider what the role does your team need. Do you have a lot of DPS, and do you need a healer? Usually we do, right? Do you have a lot of supporting characters, and which of the characters would you have the most fun with? Do you want a speedy team, or do you want a very durable and very powerful team that hits very hard? Now over here, I'll use my account as an example of which of the characters I'll be picking if I'm going to summon, which I do plan to summon, right? So if you look at my account, and we have Himiko and also Weld as my free-to-play account. Everything else, I have my Natasha, I have my Shushin, and also my Fire Trailblazer. Those are the five characters I'll be using. I do plan to have at least one or two more five stars. So in that sense, I think I'm more inclined to go with Silai. And even though I don't have Branya, going with Silai allows me to get my 5-star weapon that I can purchase from the header store. Because currently I do not have any 5-star weapon. And this will make Silai my strongest character. On the other hand, if I do wait for Jinyuan or go for Lucia, then I cannot give them a good weapon. And also we're still about 12 days away from the next patch. For me, I do want to progress my free-to-play account a little bit more. And this is one of the reasons I have decided, likely guys, very soon I'll tell you guys, I likely will be going for Silai. We'll make a special video about summoning for her. We'll use some of the summoning tricks and test it live. Now before we finish, one of the reasons I'm planning to go and also compare the characters after I have over 160 summons is that I know very high chance I'll guarantee the character. Even if, if I miss a 50-50, now that I decide to go for the character, I can go for the character I wanted and I don't have the impulse to be spending because I will be guaranteed at least one copy of the character simply because we have enough of double pity, right? And this is something that's very important for free-to-play player. You don't want to be summoning on banner that you can't kind of guarantee what you wanted, because this is when you kind of are forced to wanting to spend, because before the timing goes, you don't want to miss your banner, right? So usually I only summon them on the banners I can guarantee what I want, unless I really want it. And of course, what you also want to think about is, if you go for one banner, likely you're going to miss one or two other banners, simply because it will take you much, much longer to get more free-to-play jade to get more characters. So keep that in mind. And of course, guys, if you haven't seen our previous video, we did try to predict what is coming, what are the characters that is coming on patch 1.1, patch 1.2. So this should help you plan to save more free-to-play jade and also plan for those characters. So let me know in the comments below, guys, which of the characters would you be most interesting and which of the characters would you be summoning? Is it going to be Silai, Jinyuan, or Lucha? Or maybe other characters like Kafka or Silver Wolf? Now, before you go, and if you guys didn't know, we have a new YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check out the behind the scenes and also fun clips and also more stories about us. And then you get to know me a little more personally instead of just reading the news and also the games, right? So I want to share a little bit more with you guys. So make sure you check this channel out if you're interested about Matt and also Uni. She's really funny too. And she's really shy. So I want to give her a surprise and do a shout out for the new channel to get some subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.